the morning dish. He's the hardest working man in show business. His band's music takes you into the midnight hours. And when you wake up, his voice is back on your radio alarm clock. How on earth did this happen? Well, Jeff saw me taking out the trash at the radio station, and I won an award. It's the Morning Dish with the 2017 Radio Personality of the Year Award winner, Stephen Phillips. Well, my daddy told me one day I'd amount to something. And Murphy's own Sherry Rains. Stephen, be ready, because I can dish it out. Well, my problem is I can't take it. (laughs) And Packy Smith is a winner, too. Um, are we all aware that 2017 was a few years ago? Well, all right. He's not in radio for the money, just the glory. You have got to get Stephen Phillips off the radio. He has lost it. Here's Stephen Phillips. All righty, we're back with you, folks, and we have uh, Chris Hensel on the phone. Good morning. Good morning. Or a.k.a. Jeb Duke or Jeb Stewart Duke. <laughs> yep, either one. <laughs> either one. You don't care whichever one pays the most, right? That's right. I guarantee how are you guys doing? Oh, we're all right this morning. She's a little hateful. You know how women get in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Couldn't yeah. be anything to do with who I'm sitting across from, <laughs> could it? No, no. I love the I love your thing about unfair and unbalanced because that's the way I feel every day. Yeah, I'm it's, with you, man. Laying there with it. I'm so glad you're Jeb because you know we that, we was talking about that. Coy. You had Coy was your your cousin, right? Coy was. Oh yeah, Coy, uh, Luke, uh, Bo, Daisy. You know, we're all cousins, and um, that's just. I, I mean, the Dukes of Hazard is just an unbelievable, fun family, entertaining car racing. Jumping show is just unbelievable. There you go. So. I just didn't want to be named Coy because I always think of that Ray Stevens song. You know, he wrote that song about Coy. He's like the. <laughs> he like the. Is Coy the slow one of the family? I mean, no. I tell you what, though, but Byron uh, Coy is a goofy. He is so goofy, but he's so much fun to be around. So, yeah. yeah. Well, now you were job. you were on the. Uh, how long were you on the Dukes of Hazard? You kind of come. Well, in. It, that's the typical Hollywood story. I it started my career. I had a seven year contract. I was coming in with all of them. We had a big actor strike and a writer strike and every other strike you can freaking think of. And I ended up with one show in a special. But it it started my career, and I did a whole bunch of TV and stuff after that. But you know, hey, I was a, a Duke boy. There you so. go. You can't beat that. Did they, nope. ever, they ever let you drive the car? Do you ever get to drive the car? No, but I have driven several. Several of my friends have uh, general leads that we do shows all across the country, and, and they let me drive, and I love it. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you, man. I guarantee yeah. it. Now, you got a lot more stuff. You know, since you was in the uh, the uh, the Dukes of Hazzard, like I said, it started your career. You're actually producing movies now, right? Right. I, well, I've written. I've got five of them ready to go right now. I have, uh, I'm leaving next week for Texas, doing a big show in Texas at the Montgomery farm antique alley and then we're going to do a big dukes tribute and stuff uh with Coy. i uh, know Coy, Coy couldn't make it but uh lance burton uh, a stuntman for on the dukes and then uh burton gilliam who i uh, did a guest shot on the dukes and was also in uh, blazing saddles but i i wrote a bunch of uh movies and two of them are based in texas one's called the texas ghost story which we're going to be meeting with investors down there um next week and the week after and then I have Texas Rose and her vigilante, uh, a little bit of a sidestep. But then I'll be back in Tennessee the last week of September for the big meeting. We're supposed to sign all the contracts for my Salvage Yard Shine Boys, which is uh, Kenneth Mayhem, your friend who owns a general lead, a bunch of Duke stuff. Yeah. He's going to be in it. We have John Schneider, very, you know, he's basically in it. Um, Coy's in it. Uh, Sunny Stroyer. Uh, Rich John we're talking to and Ashley McBride so it's going to be a big basically like um, fashioned off the Dukes of Hazard, but car chases moonshine uh, country music and, and a whole lot of fun well, that'll work. Now, listen, if you need Brad Pitt, I look a lot like Brad Pitt from That's a Disney. That's what I heard. Yeah. <laughs> so I could, I could be like in the back scene, you know, walking around. Way back. If you put him way back and you blur the, you know, yeah, the perspective. Yeah, well, some years ago, I was good looking, too, there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I still got it, brother. I still got it. My last yeah, movie oh I was in, God. they killed me, you know. I'm, so anyway. Yeah, I know. Yeah, they're going to premiere me. So. Hey, this, uh, now, the, the uh, what's it called? It's called uh, Junkie. What's the name of the one here? You're uh, doing Salvage with? Yard Shine Boys. Yeah. So that. Yeah. So have y'all made, sh- it's a working title. We may change it to Love Is the Answer, a Good Old Boys Saga. But we're, you know, like I said, I wrote it for Salvage Yard Shine Boys. I wrote it about basically Ken and and Richard uh, 
Bullard, one of the sergeants, the police sergeant over there, because they've been really good, great friends all these years, and one does this and one does that. Right. So just like Dukes of Hazard. Well, now these so, are all kind of, these are faith-based, right? Family, faith-based films, yeah, with a lot of country music, a lot of uh, uh, car chasing, a lot of fun. Yeah. It sounds like right up your alley, Steve. He was just talking about he loves the faith-based movies, and from there he went into fighting. Yeah, we got to have a fight. We have to have <laughs> fighting and destruction somewhere in there. So Yeah, that's real uh, close there. <laughs> <laughs> she don't know about fighting. She ain't never been to a Baptist church. You know what I'm saying? Cause when the chicken's no, running low. <laughs> you get somebody's yeah. seat, man, it's on. Oh, I thought when the chicken started running low. Yeah, he can't do that, too. <laughs> Sheesh. Oh, man. Golly. You guys are unbalanced. I love it. <laughs> you have no idea. Now, where you live at? Oh, you, yeah. you live in Tennessee or where you live at? No, I, well, <clears throat> I live in Massachusetts. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is all uh, shot today. But I'm, I'm basically moving down there now, and I'm going to be back and forth from Tennessee and, and Texas. And then I'll be in North Carolina, I'll be in Mississippi, i got a bunch of shows, but in the meantime, we hope to start filming, like, by the end of October, beginning of November, right. with uh, Salvage Yard Time Boys, and right, either right next to it or right after it, we're going to be doing one of the movies in Texas. Okay. So. so now, where in Texas are you doing the movie at? Well, the one is uh, an hour south of Dallas in Cleburne, Texas. I know Cleburne. It's hot. Yeah, the, um, if you're going, yeah, everything's hot in Texas. It's like 112 yeah. down there. <laughs> well, it's it's just I love the area. I love the weather. I love it hot, but it's going to be more towards the winter. Well, for the rest of the world, but um, <laughs> I like it. The, you know, I like it hot. So when you're out there, they got a new building out there called the Leaning Tower of Dallas. Can you take a picture of that for me? <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> it's, it's what it's what I live for, Steve. <laughs> Thank you, man. I love you, man. Yeah, you're going to be, you're going to be at this great Smoky Mountain Comic Co- uh, Expo thing. Yes. When is yep. that coming up? Um, that's coming up. Uh, I got it right here. That's October 3rd and 4th. But we're going to be, John Schneider, uh, Byron Terry, and I will be at the Hazard Fest October 3rd, that Friday. Then Byron Terry and I will be down on Saturday, October 4th, to the Great Smoky, great Smoky Mountain Expo. Comic Expo, and that's in Newport, Tennessee. Right. So we're going to be there, and oh, there was something else I wanted to tell you, and I nah, it slipped my mind, but uh, it happens with old age. Now, where oh, is the uh, where's the Dukes of ha- where's the Hazard Fest going to be? Is it the uh, race? Oh, that's now? that's in Bulls Gap, Tennessee. Yeah, Bulls Gap. So, oh, kids, I know what I wanted to say. Right after the Dukes, the the next year, I was um, Captain California on the Kids Superpower Hour for two years. It was half live, half cartoon, so that's why I, I get into a lot of the. Uh, yeah, I'm looking at you in the outfit you know. here. I've just found this you in an outfit with a cape. Is that? <laughs> yes, that's <laughs> you mean quite you're an outfit? Look, yeah. Yeah. you're a superhero. See, he's got yes, a cape. Sir. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> both things are going to change now. I got a superhero <laughs> on speed dial. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to wish you never answered this hey, call. Hey, I, I got some ideas. Uh, Today is National you got Ideas, some ideas? Oh, ideas, ideas uh, Sharing Day. National Ideas. You know, well, absolutely. Well, you got, but you know, I mean, you got my email. You got all that stuff sent them because I'm writing three more. I got five ready to go. I got three more I'm writing right now. But I also have sequels to all the first five. Oh, that's cool. So, but they all start off, you know, with the family faith-based. And, you know, some go into... Revenge. Some go into who knows what they go into, but um, it's it's just a lot of fun. And oh, I'm starting the new. I'm doing a big coastal cruise thing down in Mississippi. Oh yeah, and no, I just started. I'm halfway done with a mob movie, and then I just started um, Saturday Night Cruising. It's kind of be going to be like an American Graffiti. I want to do a 60s, 70s, or 50s uh, um, like American Graffiti type movie right. just fun and, and racing and stuff like that oh man that is so much fun you said you did a mob movie um i'm halfway done with my mob written i'm halfway done writing the mob movie oh i love the mob if it wasn't for the mob man we wouldn't have like concrete shoes we had a lot of the stuff las in vegas the today we wouldn't have huh? las vegas oh, yeah so anyway i see you've been reading something <laughs> <laughs> so tell me something now we need to tell all these folks out here where they can find you how they get up with you and uh, some of your uh well, if they go to uh, Jeb Stewart Productions, that's J-E-B-S-T-U-A-R-T, Jeb Stewart Productions. I named it after my character on the Duke. Um, and um, that's my production company. But, right, you know, we're going to, you go up there, you'll see 
I, I don't know if uh, I even put it up on the website yet because I'm pretty inept there, but it's uh, Bulls Gap, Tennessee, October 3rd, and then Newport, Tennessee, October 4th. But the week, September 18th, 19th, and 20th, will be in Cleburne, Texas at the Montgomery Family Antique Alley. There's thousands of people coming because it's down south and people aren't afraid to go out and, and meet and greet, and we're just getting everything started. But then we're going to have a big car show. And we get some Duke stuff. And then uh, the Smoky Mountain Comic Con is going to be great. And everything's just starting up. Everything was, you know, canceled so much. Yeah. But now everything's starting to really open up. The world's starting to open up again, thank God. And we're going to get out there and meet the people and get these good movies going. And we have all kind of national distribution. We're going to do it all, you know, everything we can do and get as many uh, uh, names as we can. Especially from the Dukes. Because I just, you know, right. that's the, what keeps the Americana is just begging for good healthy you know i'm with family you moves, absolutely you know? i'm with you with that because i'm and not. we got and where we're going to shoot them we're going to shoot them down there so I, I heard you talking about georgia you know, i'd love i'd love to go down and shoot in georgia wherever i have so many that are written just any town usa so that whoever gives us you know the best financing and whoever gives us the best uh tax incentives we'll go there you go well, we're going to you know, keep up with these movies coming out, especially that uh, Shine Boys up there. I'm excited about that because I know a yeah, lot of folks number one, that's going to be coming out. So, if Listen, I know you got all kinds of stuntmen or something like that, but if you need anybody to do any car wrecking or whatever, I'm the best car wrecker you ever see. I mean, I've had a lot <laughs> car, of wreck. Car wrecking or whatever? Yeah, I can tear one up. I mean, I can tear a yeah, car that's, up, that's, man. That's what we need. <laughs> all right. Hey, listen, I appreciate you calling in, man. We, we'd love to have you back sometime to get a little closer to this Absolutely, movie. Absolutely, anytime. I'll be on the road starting Monday the 14th, and then uh, catch me, and we'll, we'll catch me somewhere around uh, a town near you. But I appreciate it, man. Thank you very much, you guys. Uh, you take Thanks. care. Uh, Thanks. So that was Chris Hensel. Yeah, he's a cool guy. Yeah, he's, he's actually, I'm looking, he is. I'm looking at his website. He's involved know, in a lot of stuff. So. See, I know superheroes. Yeah. He's got some good movies coming out, no doubt. And I, like I said, I, I know y'all just like everybody else. You hate these dang movies. It's just, you know, the movie's good, and then you got all this stuff that shouldn't be in there with the cussing and all that nonsense. Unnecessary. Just, yeah. Unnecessary, yeah. So, anyway, we need to get to break because we got Steve Rowe over here. We left him short last week. Yep, you always run your mouth too long. I'm sorry. <laughs>